feels like witchcraft, but it's not. It's Bluetooth. Think about it. You take a chip, which is another word for a card with wires, shove an electric pulse through it, and bam, you get this thingy that grabs music from thin air. But seriously, how do your AirPods do it? No wires, no passwords, and no setup. And if Bluetooth is all around, why don't all devices just interconnect? What actually happens when you tap that connect? And is there something else going on that you don't see? Uh -huh. Well, buckle up because we're making you a tech genius. Imagine this, your phone on one side of a canyon, your AirPods on the other. They'll need a bridge to send and receive music, a bridge of special light called radio waves. It exists way down in light spectrum where your eyes can't, well, see it. That would be just weird walking around with these light blinking. These radio waves are part of the VIP club of the electromagnetic spectrum. You know, the the same one that hosts Wi-Fi TV signals. They move in a sweet spot around 2.4 gigahertz, which is like the perfect tempo for short range, low energy transmissions. The best part, just like ballroom dancers, Bluetooth sways through everything, walls, desks, and your pockets. So relax, you won't lose your jam. But how does it go from dancing electromagnetic signals to Cardi B blasting in your ears? Binary beats. Instead of sending full music files, your phone and earbuds use tiny pulses of energy, flipping frequencies like a caffeine-fueled squirrel, your phone blinking a tiny flashlight. A quick blink is a one, a longer blink is a zero, and your earbuds pick these pulses and translate them back into music. And it's not a one-time thing. It happens millions of times per second to keep your music flowing. Now, if Bluetooth is just hashing out signals, how isn't your phone accidentally picking your neighbor's speakers? Well, that's where Bluetooth flexes its super smart coordination skills. Instead of shouting across one loud frequency, it splits into 79 different channels. So while your earbuds are grooving on channel 17, someone else's smartwatch is chilling on channel 57. But what happens when there are hundreds of devices nearby? Won't the signals clash? Well, no. Your Bluetooth devices are like a VIP club with a secret handshake. When you first pair them, your phone sends a special special key to your earbuds. From that moment on, everything is locked. So, even if another Bluetooth signal passes by, your earbuds just give it the cold shoulder. But what if someone tries to eavesdrop on your Bluetooth connection? Could they just listen in or steal your data? Not really, because Bluetooth has one last trick, it never stands still. Instead of staying on one channel, Bluetooth jumps between frequencies 1,600 times per second. So even if a hacker manages to catch a glimpse, the next second, bam, you're on a different frequency and they're lost. Oh, and your devices agree on this hopping pattern before the music even starts making it nearly impossible for anyone else to keep up. So, no, it's not Gandalf, but it might as well be. All in all, your phone and earbuds are having a silent, high-speed dance in invisible radio waves, flipping between 79 channels, locking everything with secret handshake, and hopping frequencies faster than a caffeine-fueled squirrel. And it all happens before you hit play. Next time someone complains that Bluetooth is confusing, just smile and be like, nah, it's just an encrypted dance party with frequency-hopping security. And boom, you're officially a tech genius.